Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share the messages that I get from Spirit and from all of our higher selves that are having us on this journey to unconditional love. And so what I wanted to share with you today is yesterday I said about, if you follow my messages, I basically share the stories that I get through healings and through um, readings that I do for people and all of the messages that I get from our higher selves to help us all on this journey back to our divine unions. And so the message yesterday that I saw in a healing was about um, them doing the salt course together and that actually in the end um, they went up a rope and then under the monkey nets and then he they get to a wall and then the, her divine partner actually helps her get over the wall. Now two things, last night my flatmate put on a film which is this one which is called the Divergent Series and in it, lo and behold, there is a scene where they go over the wall and he helps her, they're a couple, and he helps her over the wall. So I was like, oh my God, this is exactly what I've just seen in someone's healing. And look at this, it's also number seven. Also, when I scroll down, because I've just been searching for this, then in the comments there is, which is just brilliant, so I'm just going to scroll down, and in the comments there is basically, sorry, a, um, uh, a 22, of course. Um, so it is, oh, hang on, go away. Um, I'm just going to scroll down. Oh, I can't scroll down on here. You'll see. I'm going to put the link into the description box because there's a 22. And in it, it is a um, message from this guy saying, why do I, why could I never do that? And that's about because they're coming into their own power, right? Now, the other reason why I'm going to share this is because the lady that I did the healing for where I saw them doing the assault course, she's just sent me an email back and I'm just going to read it out. Because this really did, there's some to healings that I do that really blow me away because it just makes me realise how I'm just channeling your higher self and your twin's higher self. And this, <laughs> this is just, I mean, what more proof do I need? Right, so look, such an amazing reading once again. It just confirms what I had been feeling, that the energies have shifted yet again. So, so nice to see that the DM are helping us as well. It makes me feel personally feel slightly less alone on this journey. It's also great to see that they're sorting out all their past issues and hurts. I can see it in the physical as well. Now get this. By the way, you'll be so amazed to hear that a few weeks ago, my twin showed me a two to three minute video of himself, slightly showing off of course, but in a good way taking part in an assault course at a fitness exhibition he went to. It was done just for fun and it was a spontaneous thing, not planned. He came first after he climbed up a rope, went over and under a monkey net thing and climbed over a wall. Exactly what I saw in the healing. Amongst other things, I've known him for three years and this is the first time he had taken part in such a thing, as far as I know. Interestingly, the one thing he had slight trouble with was the rope. He climbed it a bit and then slid down halfway and then went up again and then he was fine. And by the way, it was highly unusual for him to be so open and comfortable enough to show me this. He's usually a bit shy around me even after three years. <laughs> Can you believe that? That is exactly what I saw in her healing, that he was basically, they were both on a rope, they were both going under the monkey nets and then they both ran up to a wall and he had to help her over the wall. So he also said, she also says, but I have to say, since your healings, he has gotten to a stage where he is now much more open and comfortable around me and talks to me a lot more and is less shy and evasive or tricky, as you say, which is such a good word to describe their behaviour. There's still a lot of room for improvement, of course, in terms of communicating more openly and being less closed off, but he is getting there. And it's no coincidence that this started around the time of your healings, amongst other things that have also been happening. So, you know what? This just shows to me how unbelievably connected all of our higher selves are. Because in that healing, it was very clear that he was the one that helped her over the wall. And when she fell back down, he was the one that said, I am going to get you over this wall, right? We've got to get over the wall. And then last night, after that... My flatmate puts this film on and I'm just going to show you now what this scene is because I was just like, are you joking me? Here you go. 
Look at this. Look at this. He lifts her up and they get over the wall. Not only that, but look, they're basically on a zip wire. So this is like, you know, basically the universe helping you. This is the universe, right? The wall is coming down. You know, we're moving into a new way of living. And look at this. They get sprung up here by the, and he is the one carrying her up the wall. <laughs> it's just, you know, you can't make this stuff up, honestly. The fact that I get to watch this last night, straight after doing that healing, straight after being told that they're the ones that's gonna take us over the wall. We did it, you see? We did it. Oh, there you go. See, that is the message because he lifted up her over the wall. Just amazing. So actually look at this book as well because if you are in any doubt, that to me has really blown me away because that without any shadow of a doubt just shows me that it was her twin's higher self giving me that information, right? And because you're both the same high self, you're, you know, you're two bodies in the same soul, right? So that is just, it's just brilliant. It's just made me so, so happy because it just reaffirms everything that I've been seeing, all of these messages that we've getting. Yet again, it's all about knowing that you are grounding this energy into the planet. You are able to climb that wall because it is your divine partner that is helping you. And at the end of the day, they will be the one that come and saves you and sweeps you off your feet and gets you over that wall. Just like in this movie that I was watching yesterday, just like in the healing I did for that lady and just what she's been, she's just confirmed back to me that her divine partner actually showed her a video of him doing an assault course and getting over that wall. So there you go. I mean, what can I say? What can I say? It's just, it cannot get better than that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Yet again, to everyone that's coming to me for healings, because if I wasn't seeing these things in healings, I'm getting, I wouldn't be getting all these messages, right? I wouldn't be able to do this. So I'm so grateful because this is the sort of shit that keeps me on track. <laughs> and hopefully we'll keep everyone else on track or whoever's watching this video, because that to me is just the best confirmation ever. So remember this, you are both teamwork makes the dream work. You are both get helping each other over that wall. All right, I hope that helps. Take care. Bye.